Hey guys, I'm your girl Nikki. I'm your girl Z. And this is Whiskey Ways. You know, we love to taste and tell y'all what we taste. We yes. are whiskey enthusiasts. Or is it, did I say that right? Yes. Enthusiasts. And we uh, are switching things up a bit. No cocktails today, but we got chocolate again. We were revisiting uh, yeah, chocolate this week. Yeah, different so, bottles though. Yep, <laughs> stronger bottles too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so to tell you of at least how I got these two bottles, let me tell you, it was like the Lord was shining down on me. So one of these, I don't know which one, but one of these I won in a white elephant. Uh, for BBS, oh. and another I won off of Twitch. What? So I didn't have to buy these two bottles. Two like, great bottles. What? <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I just looked out here. You know what I'm saying? Fancy bottles too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jack Daniel single barrel barrel proof. That means high proof, y'all. <laughs> high. Yes. So on this side, this bottle is 127.9 proof. And this is 130 proof? Yes. I don't see the difference. Hey, hey. Okay. 2.1 proof difference. 127.8 okay. to what is 9 to 130, y'all? Really? That's going to make the difference? Yes. Excuse me, I feel like the eyelashes in my eye. But that's oh. all right. I'm going to work through it. Y'all oh. just might see me rubbing and blinking a lot. That's oh, okay. okay. I'm going to work through it. So this bottle, the 127.9, was aged at Rick number L29 okay. and bottled for 521. Okay. Barrel 2103057. That's what I learned this morning. Okay. So you, you this yeah. one, the, the barrel number is 2109453. Mm -hmm. With a bottling date of November fifth, twenty twenty one. Okay. And and the Rick number is number fourteen. R is it R? Yes, R fourteen. Okay. Sorry. Yes. So two different Ricks. Yes. Two different bottle times. Yes. So we gonna see how uh -huh. where a Rick could be a difference. Uh huh. We gonna see. Okay. She does not sound enthusiastic about this guy. Not really. She should be very enthusiastic. Okay. And I know why. Uh, but I'm just saying. I will say I like the fancy bottles of the Jack Daniels. Okay. <laughs> they are heavy duty. They are distinguished looking, you know. So don't play with me bottles. Jack Daniels. <laughs> we all, well, if y'all don't know, I was going to say we all know, but everybody well, does not no. know that <laughs> Uncle Nearest Green is who taught Jack Daniels how to distill. This is true. Um, and Jack Daniels always says their bottles are different because they use that lime spring water. Yes. Does it really make a difference? We're about to find out. We don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have Uncle Nearest right here. I, mean, I don't know. Well, we get to compare. Right. Day, right. All right. You ready? Uh, sure. Let's All right. do it. We're going first with the 127.9. All right. right. That is on our left. On the left. <laughs> vanilla i get the banana that everybody says that jack daniels is known for heavy May. vanilla banana is she yeah okay banana i can see what y'all be talking about when it's known for banana actually it do smell banana mm. vanilla okay mm -hmm. it's a it's a deep color yeah it's a yeah. nice rich color I say yeah. that. all right let's go for it i'm doing it I get talk about banana nut bread. Man, I'm about to say banana laffy taffy. It Holy is very tomatoes. banana laffy taffy, nut bready. I don't get any nuts, that's why I wouldn't say nut bready for me. But I get the nut, like banana. Throw in the, the well, I wouldn't say, but it's not walnut, but it's like a banana with a nutty. Is it almond? Is it peanutty? Peanutty. Okay. Peanut. Yes. I mean, you're not going to put peanut in your banana bread. Has anyone done that? I mean, somebody might. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay. judging. I'm not judging. 
I'll say the finish. I'd like is, to taste it. It's warm. If you have. <laughs> it is a long finish for sure. It keeps going. Right. I'm like, as you see me going like this, that's because it's going down my chest. <laughs> Real long and slow. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get like a little maple. And, and some oak. sweet banana nut bread. Like a peppery finish that keeps going. Yeah. A little peppery finish. We didn't discuss it, but the mash bill has a 12% rye in it. Yes, it does. 12% rye, 80% corn, and 8% malt barley. Hmm. Both of them have the same mash bill, right? Yes. Okay, so. I believe all their single barrels do. Okay. I didn't find any information that said any were distinguished from the other outside of where they're stored, height, stuff like that. Okay. All right. Definitely. Interesting. I like it. It's not bad. No, it was easy sipper. You were a little. I was a little bit hesitant. Uh huh. But we all right. Uh mm huh. -hmm. All right. Now, time for this one thirty on the dot. One thirty point zero. Uh mm huh. -hmm. You ready? Okay. I get a little more alcohol up front. It's not the same to me, but you know. Okay. This one, though I do get some of the banana and some of the vanilla, to me the nose isn't as strong. I felt like I got more of the notes. Yeah, it's stronger on this yeah. one. So this one has a little weaker nose. R14, what's going on? I don't right know. <laughs> Maybe it's the Rick Houses. All right, let's see how they think. Wow, this is sweeter. Oh, see, I was going to say this is bitter. More bitter for me. Cuts? Mm -hmm. You still got some of that chocolate on your mouth? No, nope. going on? It's just a different Rickus. Mm -hmm. Rickus. I don't this know. Is... Rick houses, whatever, child. <laughs> Rickus, Rick houses, I don't know, uh -huh. I'm making up words. That's fine. R14. <laughs> was this? R14? This one was L. Oh, L. Okay. I don't get as much of the banana. But as it sits in my palate, because I don't get as much of the rye, I actually get more banana on the finish. On uh, the other one, I got more banana on the palate and more rye on the finish. So it's a little opposite for me. Hmm. What you get? It's not banana nut bread, that's for sure. It's more like a... Mm. I'm not sure yet. But it does have a, a oil. It's kind of oily for me. And um, it is, the more I drink of it, the less sweeter it gets. Yeah, it's not that sweet. I don't know. I don't think, <laughs> I didn't think it was that sweet to begin with, but I just felt like it was more oaky. I don't know if the higher proof just brings out more oak. Who knows? But that also makes me feel like this, this like, chocolate is going to make it more bitter. And it, it, it is like high rye. Uh, or peppery. I don't know. I don't call it right because the mash bills are the same. But I do get a lot of pepper on the finish. And it's still going. Like Oh, yeah, it's long. Still going. It's heat. Mm. All right. You ready to try these chocolates? Hoi, 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 hoi. <laughs> so I'm going to do the fancy schmancy chocolates. So these heart ones... I believe the white one is like creme brulee white chocolate. Okay. Creme brulee and what? It has like speckles oh, on it. Oh, it just said creme brulee white chocolate. The milk no. chocolate also has caramel, and then the dark chocolate has caramel but sea salt. Oh, Lord. We All got right. this. So, I'm going to split this in half here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like is that like the topping with the speckles of like Maybe. the Maybe it could wine? be it could be the sugar. We have to ask I don't know if that's Giardelli or No, I think it's Giardelli, it's not lemon. <laughs> You're not even sure I'm what not. you got. <laughs> I don't buy chocolate like that, guys. Alright. It brings up the alcohol more for me, but it also increases the sweetness for me. Which is really weird, because I thought it was going to increase the bitterness. Mm. And it makes it the finish 
Queen of short. banana nut, that's for sure. Yeah, it's definitely not banana eating no. with the chocolate. No. That's why I like the butter. So it's making me not like the chocolate. <laughs> that's for sure. I'm like, dang chocolate. So you're not invited anymore. <laughs> So yeah, this is why we try stuff. So we can get different flavors to see what we like and what we don't like. <laughs> so if she prefers this meat, clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Without the uh, no. accompaniment of no, the chocolate. No, no. Creme I don't away mind is the not, white chocolate. It's not invited But it does party. take away the lack of tannin. Yeah, it the takes lack away. Tannin. It, uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm. If y'all was in the South when that song came out, y'all already know. It <laughs> have. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, I was not ready. Prime Midway Anderson. is not invited to my party. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. Nope. So the initial taste, bitterness uh. on end, but actually, as I keep chewing, because I still have creme brulee in my mouth, the finish is actually really sweet. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Ooh, but that initial, that initial hit. <laughs> like Ric Flair. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on. Yes, the, the, creme brulee is yeah, not working out. Oh, no. shoot. Yeah, time everywhere. I'm gonna go and eat up. Mm-hmm. All right, milk chocolate with caramel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a Rolo, mm-hmm. but a heart shape. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. You can't eat too many of those. Mm-mm. Man, it's rich. It's rich. It is. Mm-hmm. I don't know how people eat this stuff. Man, also. they sit there and just go mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. to each their own. Okay, to each their own. Oh, Ooh. I'm sorry, I made faces. Okay, at least I'm not the only person. Bitterness on 155. Ooh. <laughs> Finish though with the caramel. <clears throat> Still sweet. Mm-mm-mm. But that mouth. You all right over there, Z? Shine. You all right? I don't know if she's going to make it. it. Bitter. All right. I'm excited to see what this dark chocolate do. And that ride, as I kept talking, that ride came back out of nowhere. It came back like, hey, don't forget me. <laughs> all up and through here. It's all up and through here. <sighs> it was muted first. And then it came back like, ah, oh, you thought I was gone. Okay. How do people get chocolate and whiskey? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Dark chocolate. Yes. With some sea salt. Let's okay. do it. Mm. That really not mm. good. That's a good chocolate. chocolate. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. That's a good chocolate. <laughs> it is. Mm-hmm. It's a good chocolate. It is what it is. It is what it is, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. 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 This one is still bitter, but not yeah. nearly as bitter as the milk chocolate. I know. It still brings up the banana, but not nearly as much as the other bottle. What? 27.9 got going on, y'all. <laughs> I tell you. And L- the finish L- is not L- on. Everybody, that's the place L- to be. L29. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's actually not bad. Not bad at all. The dark chocolate out of all the chocolates is the winner. Okay. For me, With the caramel yes, the and the sea salt. Yes. Caramel and sea salt. That's what we're doing. That's just the one that goes with right. with Jack Daniels, at least these two. Mm-hmm. Better. Ooh, they had a little burpy burp, guys. Ugh, the other two, however, especially creme brulee, it's not invited. No. White chocolate, not working out. Mm. It makes everything bitter. It just increases that. It increases to another level. Man. But right. I'm Even the milk chocolate. Right. I mean, it hits you with the bitterness. It does give you sweetness on the back end, but that initial bitterness, boy, it's rough. Okay? Yeah, you, you're doing whiskey, bourbon. I think you stick to the dark. Yeah, with the sea salt and the caramel. Yes. That's the note. That's the key. Mm-hmm. Sea salt, caramel together with mm-hmm. the dark chocolate. I don't know if you do it by yourself. I mean, we get dark chocolate by itself, but I'm not I even don't think I'm it. that impetuous at this point. I'm not. We're going to let that go. We're going to give it to God. Go. Okay? <laughs> So, <laughs> I think we both like the slightly lower fruit uh, yes. bottle better. Yes. Though, you know, I ain't going to complain. I got them for free. Hey. Um, you yeah. can leave one over here. What? Say what now? Oh. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Tell us <laughs> which one you've tried. Right. If you've tried Koi Hill and you're willing to send us a sample, 
Hit me up. Okay. Hit us up. Email us. The email should be in the description. Yes. Go on and give us a sample. I want to try Coy Hill and maybe, you know, disappearing. That's true. Um, but Only yeah. the few know when it arrives. Right. <laughs> if you like Jack Daniel's single barrel, barrel proofs, let us know. Mm-hmm. Which proof was your favorite? Because people yeah. tend to buy these all the time. It, do you prefer the rye the or with the bourbon? I mean, over the Tennessee whiskey. They don't call it bourbon. Okay. Same difference. Yeah. They follow the same government rules. But, um, (laughs) if you prefer the Tennessee whiskey, you prefer. Right. Let us know. Um, and we will see y'all on the next episode. Next episode. Cheers, guys. Hopefully with cattails. Yes. (laughs) We need to break this up, child. Woo! (laughs) Cheers.